it is my privilege to introduce and invite His Excellency Ambassador Yusuf bin Ali Al-Khatar, Ambassador of the State of Qatar to the United Kingdom to address you all. Your Excellencies, Members of Parliament, distinguished guests, welcome to our first virtual celebration of Qatar's National Day. I dearly wished we could have gathered together as we do each year. Next year, inshallah, we'll meet again. Before continuing, I would like to take an important moment to extend my heartful appreciation and thanks to all the essential key workers in Qatar, the UK, and across the world for their tireless efforts in the fight against COVID-19. As noted in his speech at Gavi, His Highness the Emir, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, stated, based on human solidarity, we have provided medical assistance to more than 20 countries around the world. لقد بينت هذه الأزمة أنه لا بديل عن التعاون الدولي وتبادل الخبرات. الأمر الذي يفرض مضاعفة الجهود المشتركة للقضاء على كوفيد 19 باللقاح والعلاجات الفعالة. This year, we are celebrating a new landmark partnership between Qatar Petroleum and the National Grid. The agreement will see Qatar Petroleum continue to make a significant contribution to the UK energy security until 2050. One of my personal highlights was the official opening of the UK-Qatar Joint Typhoon Squadrons in October 2020. Watching the typhoons take a flight was a wonderful sight and a great day commemorating a major milestone in our defense partnership during the visit of the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of State for Defense Affairs, His Excellency Dr. Khalid bin Mohammed Al Atiyah. I'm delighted to note that bilateral meetings in our countries have remained possible. His Excellency, the Deputy Prime Minister and the Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani visited London in October this year for meetings and Qatar relationship with the UK has continued to go from strength to strength. Thank you for this opportunity to celebrate uh, Qatar's uh, National Day. Despite the many challenges posed by coronavirus this year, I'm delighted that we are able to celebrate the, the long-standing, the deep-rooted, but also the dynamic partnership between the UK and Qatar. Your Excellency, your government and Qatar Airways gave the United Kingdom a huge amount of support to help us repatriate over 80,000 British nationals earlier this year, for which I and the UK government will remain extremely grateful. And as we speak, our Joint Typhoon Squadron is conducting a major exercise, enhancing our ability to work together as close partners. We fast approach the 50th anniversary of official diplomatic relations between our two countries. And you can be assured that the UK stands committed to work with you in pursuit of all our shared objectives and in pursuit of the global challenges that face us all. We also have had an amazing year of ministerial contact despite the coronavirus challenges. And as the minister, indeed, as you, Your Excellency, have set out so clearly, uh, despite the coronavirus challenges, we've seen our relationship continue to strengthen over this last difficult year. Uh, happy Qatar National Day. Thank you so much.